Everybody knows what hunger feels like. You have this hole in your stomach, your stomach is growling, your energy levels are down, so are your concentration levels and focus levels. All you can think about is your next meal. Now for most people, I would say these signs aren't too overpowering and they go away after eating. But for other people, that's not the way it goes. They keep on feeling these things all the time. These signals can still continue to be strong even after the person has eaten or even while the person is eating. And this can be regardless of the food they eat. This is called extreme hunger. And thankfully, there's a few different ways to deal with it. So what is extreme hunger? Well, it's when the standard hunger cues aren't satisfied by a regular meal. Huge quantities are necessary in order for that person to feel full or they can start feeling hungry just a few minutes after. This often occurs for people who are recovering from an eating disorder or people who have been dieting for too long and restricting their food intake. Because after restricting that food for so long, then your hormones can kind of be a little bit all over the place. For instance, when you diet and when you restrict your food intake, then your ghrelin is going to increase because you're not going to be getting enough food. So it's going to increase and increase, but you're going to keep repressing it. You're going to keep on eating less food and you're going to keep on you know, not listening to the ghrelin cues. But what can happen when you start getting back to standard eating is that your ghrelin levels can come back tenfold after being repressed for so long. So like I just mentioned, if you've been dieting or restricting for a long time, then this is actually pretty normal and it's something that happens pretty often. But if you don't feel like this is the case for you, here are a few more reasons why you could be dealing with extreme hunger. Sleep is crucial for your health, you already know that. But what you may not know is that when you don't sleep enough, then that will cause your ghrelin levels to increase and this could make you hungrier. As usual, if you're interested in the sources for the things I'm saying, then check out my blog post that I will be putting in the description. Another reason why you may feel extreme hunger could be because you are very stressed. When you are stressed, you have a tendency to eat more and specifically high palatable foods such as sweet foods and fatty foods in general junk food. Stress also increases the release of cortisol, which could promote hunger and cravings. You could also be feeling extreme hunger because your diet lacks fiber. Fiber has many health benefits, such as reducing certain diseases, helping your good gut bacteria thrive, and also helping with weight management. If you consume foods that are high in fiber, it could keep you fuller for longer because you have soluble fiber which will slow down the absorption rate of foods and also you have insoluble fiber which will take up space in your stomach and help you feel fuller. If you want to know more about the health benefits of fiber and which foods have fiber, then check out the video I made about that right here. You may also feel extreme hunger because you're not eating mindfully. This means both eating too quickly or not paying enough attention to your food as you eat. When you eat too quickly, your body doesn't have time to actually register the food intake until you're already done eating and you've already overeaten. And not even speaking about overeating, even if you have a set amount of calories, if you eat them too quickly, then it will really take a while for your body to register them and for you to reach satiety. And so it'll be a while before you're not hungry anymore. And then your next meal will only be a couple hours away and so you're, you'll start feeling hungry for that. So it can really feel like you're hungry all the time. And same thing goes, if you're eating while being distracted, it can actually increase your appetite because if you're not focusing on the food you're eating, then your body takes longer to register the satiety signals, which can leave you feeling hungrier throughout the day and also wanting to just snack more all the time. Now, if you don't recognize yourself in any of these, maybe you could have a medical condition or you could be on certain medication which is promoting that increased hunger. Okay, quick disclaimer, I cannot pronounce this word. I've actually practiced, I just cannot pronounce it. Hyperthyroid hyperthyroidism. Hyperthyroidism. Thyroid. 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 So for instance, you have hyperthyroidism, which is a condition where your thyroid <laughs> is hyperactivated and this could lead to increased hunger. There's also diabetes, hypoglycemia, anxiety, 
premenstrual syndrome that can all lead to increased hunger. And there's also some medications that may increase your appetite and I've included a list of them, well, a link to a list of them in my blog post. So now that you know what extreme hunger is, we're going to talk about how to deal with it. And first things first, you should try to do some of the things that I just mentioned. Try to address these issues. So try to de-stress, try to sleep better, try to eat better, try to eat mindfully. And if you think that you may have a medical condition or that you may be on certain medication that is causing this extreme hunger, of course, schedule an appointment with your doctor. And now, if you are recovering from an eating disorder or from really restrictive eating, here are a few more pointers. If you find that none of these things are working, it may be because your body actually needs more food. You have been starving it for a long time and now it just needs some time to adjust. So I really think that the best thing to do in this situation is to honor these hunger cues even if they seem excessive. Try to eat until you are fully satisfied even if it feels like you're getting in a huge amount of calories. And it's important to do so without feeling any feelings of guilt or shame. If you stick to eating these regular food amounts and if you're just disregarding these extreme hunger cues, then you're just delaying your recovery process. I really recommend being accompanied by a medical professional or a dietitian during this process. Like I mentioned before, it's also important to eat mindfully because if you're just standing up in your pantry, eating your entire box of cookies and just shoving it down your throat without appreciating anything, then it's going to be much harder to reach satiety. There's always the physical hunger that may be reached after a few cookies, but then there's also the emotional hunger and that will take a while to fill up and to be fully satisfied. So really try to dive into mindful eating. I have a video about that that can help you right here. And it's really important to eat slowly, to chew every bite, to focus on the food that you are eating, and to try and be in tune with your hunger cues. Listen to yourself. When you're hungry, eat. When you're not hungry, stop. And don't let any other social cues dictate anything. If you need to eat three times your regular portions to feel full and satisfied, then you, you need to do so. This is a process that you have to go through. If you find yourself craving junk food or food that you wouldn't normally have, then it's important to let yourself have these foods because your body is asking you for them. So you need to learn to trust it and to do so without guilt and shame. However, if you have never learned to listen to your body, to your cues, or have very little knowledge on nutrition and on mindful eating, I highly suggest learning the basics a little bit before jumping in because it can be pretty overwhelming and difficult if you just have no knowledge on this. So extreme hunger is when you still feel hungry after eating a regular meal, or if you require huge quantities in order to feel full, or if you feel physically full but you still want to, you still have that need to continue to eat. You may experience this after an eating disorder or because you've been dieting for too long. This could also be because you lack sleep, because you're stressed, because you have a poor diet, because you don't eat mindfully, because you have a medical condition, or because you're taking certain medication. There are lots of reasons. So in order to deal with this extreme hunger, you need to opt for a healthy lifestyle where you make healthy food choices, where you have enough sleep, where you aren't stressed. I know this is easier said than done. But if you are recovering from disordered eating, then I suggest that you actually honor these hunger cues, that you actually eat until you feel emotionally and physically full. And don't hesitate to get some professional help with that, of course. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.